Hello guys, I got a request from all this uh, piece right here, part of this architecture, that's what I'm sure to do. So guys, I actually can't tell if this is going outwards or inwards, but it doesn't really matter because it's very easy to do both. So let's go ahead and set up the situation. Let's go ahead and start with the box. Put that right there. Let's go ahead and center it and apply it at a poly right away. And let's go ahead and just select these faces and delete. All right, we're going to go ahead and flip that. All right, so I'm just going to model this side right here. And then we're going to go ahead and select this edge, hold shift, extrude that up, and then hold shift and extrude this to the left. We can go ahead and insert a loop through there. And we can go ahead and delete the right side and just apply symmetry like so. All right, so let's just uh, enlarge this a little bit here. All right, so as you can see, first of all, we've got this kind of piece right here. So let's just copy that and let's select this face. And we're going to go ahead and attach that as a clone. Give this maybe a different little color right here. We're going to go ahead and shell that. As you can see, it's kind of going inside the wall just a little bit. You can, of course, kind of uh, extrude from this wall. I'm just going to have it clip through just like this. Move that forward here. Maybe just make it a little bit thinner here. All right. So it looks like, looks like something like this is happening here. All right. Paste that modifier right there. All right. So we've got this. All right. And actually... Let's go ahead and move this a little bit more to the right. All right, so what we need to do is we need to establish this. And so guys, the biggest technique here, which is going to just help you be a much better modeler, is to go as simple as possible. So what you can actually do is, you know, let's say it's actually going inwards. Let's just do that. So I'm going to go ahead and extrude that. And what I would do is just insert a loop through here and then just kind of quickly delete that and uh, target right here. And I'm going to use uh, just planar on the y-axis real quick. All right, so we're going to apply open subdiv on top. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the parts that we want to be sharp, which are going to be these right here. Let's just add that as well. Let's just make that a, let's give that perfect sharpness for now. Or of course, let's give it like point, point three two maybe. All right, as you can see, all we need to do guys, we can insert more loops for more control, but all we need to do is just to kind of move this like here. And then all we need to do is to, let's see here, move this back. And then just kind of adjust the shape as you like it. So you may want to have a, a topology through here because as you notice, you get this kind of bad result right here. So using creases is very good guys, but you do get some strange shading. So let's look at the difference that just a single loop right here makes. As you can see, this is with the loop and this is without. And we also want to, uh, we also want to make this point 32. And as you can see guys, you are now able to get these kinds of results. And if you want this to be going in the other direction, well, you can very easily just kind of move it uh, forward. And just adjust that. And you may have to make some little changes here. And 
as you can see now with the same ease with the same simple topology we now kind of have this going this way and you can of course adjust it but as you can see you can get a different shape just by moving a single vertex which really makes things uh, nice and fun and easy so regardless of whether you want uh, this or that as you can see it's very easy to accomplish so then what you would do is just kind of select this and then uh you can use for example uh symmetry you can select this and symmetry get that and then you can also symmetry like that you can copy these two modifiers paste them on this object and then paste them on this object and there we go and you can further just extrude this and continue working on this Alright guys, thank you for watching and take care.